The darkness is serving the light. See, darkness can no longer prevail when the light is shining on it. And this is the thing, my friends. There's more and more darkness being exposed in the world right now. We are in this global awakening right now. Look at Mr. Dalai Lama. He's just finally exposed himself for his pedophilic ways. And to a lot of people right now, and if this is new to you, I'm sorry, but this is what's come to the surface. And the thing is, we can thank people like the Dalai Lama for exposing themselves. And this is what's happening right now. More and more people exposing themselves, exposing themselves. But the thing is, they're the catalyst to a lot of people's awakenings. They are the catalyst to a lot of people, a lot of our brothers and sisters waking up to the corruption that's been going on around the world for many, many, many years. Now, I don't agree with pedophilia, not one bit. I do not agree with that. But I can thank Mr. Dalai Lama because millions and millions and millions of people all around the world for how many years looked up to him. Looked up to him. I even looked up to him back in the day. I was very grateful for a lot of his teachings because he, he was one of those teachers who I learnt compassion from when I was younger. But then when the whole jab agenda come up, I started looking at things differently with him. He started exposing himself back then for me because he was pushing the agenda to get the needle. You see? And now the world can see what he's about. And this is the thing. It's not just him that's a, that that is exposing himself. There's so much darkness around the world exposing themselves. The governments, the politics, people in our local shires, in our local councils are even exposing themselves at this time. The WHO, the World Health Organization, all of these big world organizations are exposing themselves more and more and more every day this is the global awakening my friends and sometimes it can be hard and sometimes it can be very very triggering especially for example if you have been if you had experienced some form of sexual trauma maybe you you i won't say victim because no one's a victim we don't play victim we aren't victims we have experiences. So maybe you experienced some sexual trauma throughout your life, whether it was maybe in your childhood or later on in your life, and you had that unhealed trauma that you haven't paid attention to and you still haven't healed that. And now all this stuff's leaking with Dalai Lama, or not even just Dalai Lama, all this stuff's leaking from some other you know, world leaders or whoever in terms of pedophilia or sexual trauma or adrenochrome or anything of this nature and it's really really triggering you now's the opportunity for you to go inward and pay attention to that old wound so you can bring light to that old wound so you can heal that part of you so you can merge all of your light back so you can call back all of your light and soul retrieve okay use these triggers when these people are triggering you use the opportunity to heal grab it and use it to heal it's going to benefit you you're going to ascend a lot quicker when you pay attention to your shadow my friends okay so even people in your interpersonal lives interpersonal relationships so you look at um whether it's a spouse whether it's a family member a friend whoever it may be and they're constantly triggering you because they're maybe not attending their shadow or you know they're they've got you know they're quite unwell you know they're taking all their stuff out and you and they don't even realize they're doing it. And you're, you you find yourself around these people and you're constantly being triggered. Go inward. Use these opportunities to grow, to flourish, to heal, to ascend, to expand. Use it. Use these opportunities. Don't let them pass up. Don't let them pass you by. So someone's triggering you. Have a look inward. Why am I being so triggered around this person? And go back and do the shadow work. What is it that what is it within you that needs attention? And pay attention to that part of you. Because that part of you is screaming out now, I'm ready now to face this trauma, this past trauma. I'm now ready. Your soul's like telling you, I'm now ready. So face that old trauma and thank that person. Thank that person because they're serving you. They're serving you. And if you need to walk away from these relationships or friendships, partnerships, whatever it may be, that's okay too. Do it with love. Do it with love and thank them because they're helping you grow. They're helping you ascend. And if you... You know, if and you don't have to walk away either, you can still have these people in your life. But maybe you need to put in stronger boundaries in your life. Maybe you need to have stronger boundaries when you're around these people. 
for some people they just can't honor you they just can't respect you because they they're not doing it in a way they don't even realize that they're treating you a certain way half the time they don't even realize that they're projecting their unhealed wounds and shadows onto you you see but they're still serving you this is the thing my friends they're still serving you everyone around the world we're like we're all characters we're all characters here on earth school in this cosmic game we're all characters we are all serving one another the darkness is always serving the light the darkness is always serving the light because if you have a look the amount of times that you know you went down a rabbit hole or the amount of times something come come to the surface come up for you and absolutely shook you up and shook your world and triggered you and everything it pushed you deeper within you didn't it it pushed you so much deeper within you. you had to go and face parts of you you had to go and face unhealed parts of you, you had to go and face your shadow so really, you can thank them, you can thank all the Dalai Lamas in the world, you can thank all the world leaders in the world, you can thank all these criminals, you can thank all this and that. You see, I, I was, I, I, like I say, I, I wasn't a victim, I was never a victim in my life. I had experiences in my life. I had experiences in my life. And I remember um, going way back when a lot of stuff started, you know, when I started going down rabbit holes to me, I was um, went through a stage where I was getting really, really triggered with a lot of the whole pedophilia stuff and the whole child trafficking and all that sort of crap that happens all around the world. That's been happening for so many years. I was getting so triggered at one point in my journey. I knew I had to go and face this stuff. I really had to face this stuff. So because I was, you know, I was touched by the hands of pedophiles when I was younger. Okay, I was. But like I say, I'm not a victim. Okay, I'm a warrior. You're a warrior. We don't play victim. We don't play small. We thank the experiences. We thank these people. Do you know why? Because these people help us ascend. These people help us evolve. If I didn't have those experiences, how would I know compassion? How would I know boundaries? How would I have learned forgiveness? You see? So the darkness is always serving the light. And it doesn't mean we have to agree with what these people do. Mm -mm. I don't agree with that type of behavior one bit. I don't think any adult should be harming a child like that. No way. But all we can do is hold our light. Just keep holding your light. You come here to shine so bright and to assist with this evolutionary shift. So when, you, when you're when you witnessing now, more and more things come up to the surface. You don't want to leak your energy by feeding that energy, by feeding that energy. Like I always say, if you can hold your neutrality as more stuff comes up to the surface, you will not leak energy. You'll stand there like a spiritual warrior and you will not leak your energy. Stay in your heart, stay compassionate, witness it for what it is. Because these people are helping our brothers and sisters wake up. Look at it that way, shift your perspective. These people are helping our brothers and sisters wake up. You may have friends, you may have family members who you've been trying to shake up. Like, wake up bro, wake up. They're not waking up. We can't wake anyone up. People will wake up themselves. It's a realisation. Okay, it's a realisation. When their soul is ready, their soul will step up to that next point, that to that next level. They'll level up. When their soul is ready, it's not for us to decide when someone should wake up, when someone should become self-realised, when someone should become self-actualised, when someone should realise that there's so much darkness that's been in this world. That's not our place. It's their soul. It's their evolution. It's their journey. Respect that. But... All these events, all these things that are coming up to the surface now, they're helping our brothers and sisters wake up. They're helping our brothers and sisters realise, shit, this world ain't what I thought it was. <laughs> and the more and the more this happens, the more exposure comes up to the surface, what we can do is just celebrate, just celebrate all. Because this is the great awakening and this is part of the process. We don't just wake up one night and we don't just wake up and then in the morning we're all of a sudden enlightened. This is evolution. This is part of your evolution. This is us reaching our enlightenment by being able to stand in neutrality, to be able to hold compassion in our heart, to be able to forgive people, to be able to accept what is, to be able to transcend duality, dark, light, good, bad. It is what it is, you know. So we're all playing our part on this cosmic evolutionary game. We're all playing our part. When you look at it like that, life, just becomes different you just start to be able to to flow a bit more and you look at things you just witness things you're the witness you've got the constant witness you're just like mm, yeah okay that just is it is what it is i can't do anything about that i can't change anything externally 
I can only change from within. So be the change you want to see today. Hold your light. Let everything unfold out there. And when your brothers and sisters, your family members, your friends, your work colleagues, people in your community struggle to deal with what's coming up to the surface, you're solid. You'll stand there solid. Unshakable. Be unshakable. And they're going to come to you and you're going to hold your light and you're going to help them level up. Be well, my friends. Be well.